Alrighty guys, we are going to take a look at Kabuntu Kinetic Kudu. Don't know if I'm saying that right, K-U-D-U. -U. It is the development version Kabuntu 22.10. We're going to have a look at that. We're still probably a couple of weeks out or so from the beta being released. But curiosity's gotten the best of me. Kabuntu is still one of my favorite distributions. So... We're going to have a look at it. We're going to run through the installer and see if there's anything new in the installer. And then we're going to talk about what's new in Kubuntu 22.10. So for anybody who doesn't know, including me, before I looked it up, this is a Kudu. Kudu. Probably Kudu, I guess. Very deer looking. It is an animal in Africa. So while that's installing, we'll have a little discussion about Ubuntu 22.10. What I'm really looking for is that Ubuntu 22.10 is supposed to default with, come out with default with Pipewire as the audio server. I'm really looking for and looking forward to Kubuntu having Pipewire audio server as default. That's primarily what I'm looking for. I'm also really hoping for the kernel to be on 519. The last time I looked at it, it was still on 515. It is my understanding that Kubuntu 22.10 is supposed to come out with KDE Plasma 5.25. We're going to go over real quick some of the benefits of 5.25. KDE Plasma 5.25, one of the coolest new features is the accent color change based on wallpaper. It will pick up your wallpaper color and the accent, you can set it so that the accent of windows and text can be in the color of your wallpaper. Another neat little feature is in, in Plasma 5.25, you can make the panels float. I tried it. I don't know. I, I think I'm just not the target audience for that, but it's something you can do. I, yeah. I guess I'm just too old school. And, the, and they did actually, they, they made it to where switching between dark and light modes is more smooth and animated and the description says it's inspired by gnome you know when when one does a good thing sometimes others follow along that's all i'm going to say about that the application page of discover is now has a more focused detailed at the top of the application and, and images another change in discover is related to flat packs it now shows a message with an action button to clean flat pack data on uninstalled applications. And if there's a if there's a flat pack data for something you have uninstalled, but there's still something installed that was related to it, it'll tell you about it and have a little clear button. Also, Discover now shows the permissions requirements of Flatpak applications before you install them. That is that is cool. Okay, system stats, uh, system monitor now shows information about your Windows system, whether you're running on Wayland session or an X session. The open with dialog of XDG portal now sees a complete user interface rework. Plasma Applet Network Manager now shows Wi-Fi frequency connection. Plasma Desktop now gives a more organized view in recent documents. So there's a lot more. There's actually a lot more than that, but that's a, that's a pretty good little overview. So in Ubuntu 22.10, along with PyPyre by default, they are now replacing w, WPA Supplicant, which is the uh, wireless... Uh, Wi-Fi connection manages Wi-Fi connections is now being replaced with IWD, which is developed by Intel. WPA Supplicant was nearing 
20 years old and it has served its purpose quite nicely on the laptop I have behind me. It does disconnect somewhat regularly and I'm hoping that'll fix that. Other updates that are coming in Kubuntu 22.10 Blue Z will come will go to 5.65 cups will be on version 2.4 python will have 3.10.6 network manager 1.38 mesa 22 pipewire 0.3.56 pulse audio 16 pulse audio is still going to be installed it just won't be active by default and the, i'm assuming the reason being that it will be easy to switch back to pulse audio if there's a problem with pipe wire um that's i guess that's what i'm hoping we'll get uh, firefox 104 libre office 7.4 and thunderbird 1.0 no thunderbird 102 okay so we have installed rebooted updated rebooted this is as far as we're going to get today and I want to check info. There's something I want to see on this one first. Well, two things on this one. Number one, graphic platform, X11. I was hoping that said Wayland. I understand with the, I understand with NVIDIA that this probably wasn't going to happen, but I was hoping. Okay, other thing, kernel version 5.19, awesome. So let's see what 519 brings to the party. All right. 5.19 is good news. Number one, ARM related performance boost. Number two, fixes Intel overheating and battery drains. Number three, long arch CPU architecture support. Number four, graphical improvements. This one's actually pretty extensive. They don't say much of it here, but it's actually pretty extensive. It does say this involved nearly half a million line of code. Number five uh, adds big TCP support, which allows for larger TSO GRO packet sizes for IPv6. Network speeds can now reach 400 gigabytes per second. Uh, also adds user space component for managing multipath TCP. Network drivers have also received improvement, specifically Qualcomm, Realtek, MediaTek. Newly enabled accessories, Keytrons, wireless mechanical keyboard now has working function keys. Lenovo ThinkPad X12 TrackPoint, Wacom driver, better compression. Okay, that was a quick little short summary. Uh, 519, I know there's a lot of uh, graphics card improvement for like gaming. So, you know, 519 is good. Uh, what else was we wanting to look at? So the kernel, 519 graphics platform, X11, disappointing. Uh, let's see if Pipewire is running. Drum roll, please. Actal info. I did not spell that right. P A C T L. Space info is not found. Interesting. That's actually really good news. That's a Pulse Audio Controller info. That's one way you know if checking that. That's actually really good news. Okay, so if you don't have Pulse, Pulse Audio installed, apparently it's PS hyphen space hyphen E. Pipe, which is that pipe grip pipe wire. Outstanding. Pipe wire and pipe wire pulse. If you see these two things, you are running pipe wire. Outstanding. 
So we do have pipe wire by default in Kubuntu 22.10. Outstanding. I'm very happy. Wayne by default would be good too, but I know NVIDIA is a problem. So we'll take what we can get. Okay, so we are going to check uh, the programs that I use the most. I want to check what version they're going to be on. So to do that without installing, all I have to do is either search or show. App show, GIMP. Package GIMP version 2.10.32. Cool. Inkscape. I can't use the snap and that's all it's going to show me. I think. Well, let's try it. Show Inkscape. 1.1.2. It's not the snap version, but it's also not the current version. Disappointing, but... Uh, I can't use the snap version because of ink stitch and I have tutorials in several places right now on how to PPA Inkscape and get the most recent Inkscape and ink stitch. That's also in one of my videos. What else? Kden Live. App show Kden Live. I use Kden Live for my video processing for 22.08.1. Good, good. I'm not sure. Let's see what version I'm on. 22.08.1. Nope. About Kden Live 22.08.1. That's the same one. 22.08.1. Wow. Kubuntu will be released with the same version that Arch has right now in Kden Live. That is cool. I don't use much else. OBS. App Show OBS. Is it uh, shoo, OBS Server? It's not OBS Server, is it? OBS. Apt search OBS. Ooh, it's got a lot of things coming up that's not has nothing to do with OBS. OBS Studio. App show OBS Studio. That was just a brain fart on my part. Version 27.2.4. And I am on 27.2.4. Dot two dot four dash two. Nice. That's uh, that's pretty good. You know what? Kubuntu is shaping up to be Kubuntu twenty two dot ten is shaping up to be awesome. Love it, love it. I love. I. It's still one of my favorite. If if Monjero went away tomorrow, I would I would absolutely be back on Kubuntu. Probably. Alrighty, so that is a really nice little preview of what's to come in Kubuntu 22.10. Beta should be in a couple of weeks, and uh, full release is next month. And shaping up great. I mean. You know, disappointing on the Wayland. No, yeah, disappointing on the Wayland. But, you know, kudos. It's got kernel 5.19. Awesome. And it's got pipe wire by default. Double awesome. And everything, it's right now, everything is, looks like it's fully up to date. Like on the edge of where Arch is right now. <laughs> That's cool. Way to go, guys. Uh, anyway, if you like what I do here, please like and subscribe. And until next video, thanks for watching.